Okay, at long last, we're ready. It took me like 20 minutes to set that up. Um, oh, last thing. The standees, not just standees, but actual figurines. All right, so the two classes we're playing with today are Mind Thief Gazed 
the sky. Above you, you see a large flock of white birds flying southward. At that height, you figure a well-aimed arrow could bring one of them down to make a nice meal. Option A, shoot the birds. Option B, let the birds pass undisturbed. So, it's boring to not do anything, so we're going to shoot the birds. Option A, you pull back your bow and take aim. The arrow flies true and connects with one of the birds. You retrieve it, pluck it, cook it, and eat it. Definitely beats the field rations you carry with you. All players start scenario with bless. Cool, so that was a good one. Let me grab. So a bless card. Um, getting one means we each, each get to shuffle into uh, the modifier decks this times two card, which means when we attack, um, if we were to draw this one, that attack would do double damage. So, uh, the modifier decks have, I don't know, 25 cards in them, probably 20-ish, maybe. So the chances of you drawing it, you know, you could potentially not draw it at all, the whole scenario, but it's in there. Okay, let's do this thing. Personal character. 
colors, so I'm not really sure how they play, so we will be finding that out. Okay. I want to go gloves as brute. Brute has 10 HP. Mind Thief has 6, so he's much weaker.
discard discard okay I know exactly which card to play with this guy okay four damage yeah let's do that okay is over. Okay, so 
Now we want to open the door. Let's have our brood go through first if we can, because obviously we can expect there are going to be enemies through the door. So we don't want our weak, only five health guy to uh, go through first. best bet. So move three, and now we want to play something really low initiative to go in there. Boom. So that he can go first. So ten initiative. Okay, mind thief. Let's see what you got. So we want him to follow behind. We don't want him to get into the fight, but we want him to be there. So he has a move minus one, so he gets a move one. 
so we will get hit here. Um, this guy's disarmed, so he doesn't do anything. Um, this guy attacks with a base of two. My brute. Oh, dang. We got a plus two. So my brute actually takes four damage, leaving him at three health left, which is actually bad news for this next round, because that's how much damage the archer does. That's not even mentioning the guards. So I need to back the heck up. that will make the archer target him on his 
this turn, um, which means, because we don't want to go too far away because we're slow, but we just also don't want to get hit, so this will make the mine thief get hit and not us, which is what we want, so the turn is over. Oh, yeah, the turn's over for us, but the archer still gets to go. Um, let's clear this off. So his is he doesn't have a move this turn, but he has a target two minus one attack. So one, two, three, four, five. We're actually out of his range, and he doesn't have a move this turn. So we're actually safe. If he was one space closer, he his uh, move this turn was a target two, so he could hit both of us this turn. So being one out of range, this guy backing up by one was prime time. Okay, we're doing pretty well, if I do say so myself. I'm going to take this time to, how much health does that guy have? Seven health. I was going to say it might be a time to have my brute do take a little rest while the other guy attacks. But the other guy, I don't know if, if he's going to be able to get close enough to kill him before he gets killed. Because my mind thief only has six health total. That's, this guy hits for three, so I can only survive like two hits from that guy and I'm dead. So, okay, so I want to do a short rest as my brute. And so there's a short rest and a long rest. The short rest, so the long rest is you, you use a whole turn to do it, right? You gain two health back in a long rest. You get to look through your cards, get rid of one, and, get, and uh, keep the rest, right? Return them to your hand. A short rest, you don't gain health, but you don't lose a turn, and you also don't get to choose which card you bring back. You have to blindly get rid of a card that's in your discard, so you lose the, a single card randomly from the game, so we lose this one. Okay, that's actually fine. Um, but we did lose a turn, so we actually still get to move this next turn. I'm actually going to do the same for my Mind Thief, because time is of the essence. We do not have time at all. left. Archer gets to flip his move. He is at 31, which is actually going to be fine. That means that our boy over here is going to take some damage, though. Our Mind Thief. Okay, so Mind Thief gets to move by 4. We're going to play it kind of risky here, because he needs to take the damage from the traps in order to open the door. So I'm going to have him go takes two damage from opening, from uh, touching the trap, right? But the door's now, oh, I don't want to do this. You know, I'm going to have him stop on the trap. So he's here, he takes the damage, but he doesn't open the door yet. Um, that's, that's better. I don't want to have these monsters coming at me as well while we're trying to finish off this guy. Okay, so he did his move, he did his thing. Creates so by the way that's gone. He created night on that move. Okay, so here's a move. Do I get to go first? No, Archer goes first. Archer's gonna hit him for a base of three. 
We probably have four health left, so we better not get a plus, uh, plus one. Here we go. Okay, minus one. So I take two damage still, which leaves me at two health left. Uh, Archer's turn is done. Here's where this sick brute play comes in. So I'm playing the bottom of this. Oh, wait, no. Bottom of this one. Top of this one. So this is a really good card. Move six. The brute's typically slow, but he has this one card. It's a lost card, meaning you only get to use it once. You can't bring it back from resting. But uh, a move six. And it works extremely well with this card, where it says attack X where X is the number of hexes you have moved so far this turn. Meaning, if we move six, attack X, we can attack six. But hold on, it doesn't stop there. I have my boots, which add a plus two to your move. So basically, we're gonna zigzag down the hall, move eight, and then we're gonna hit him for eight. Okay, so we spend our boots. As long as we don't get a minus two, we're chilling. Whew. So we do eight damage. He only had seven out total, so he is done. Room clear. Yeah, we're gonna want a long rest because neither of my uh, neither of my characters have any healing cards left in their hand. I don't think. My uh, my thief has a way he can heal, but it requires him to actually hit people. both of them. I don't have cards really to bring back. Oops. So this card. Okay, what did I do with my discards? There we go. Put them back in my hand. Okay, so this guy goes lost. This guy is the only one in discard, so from long resting, he also gets lost, unfortunately. Um, and then on my other character...
this is gonna cause some ruckus. And then this guy, I need to get him in there. So he's just gonna have to move. All I really have is just a move three. Oh, we'll have him use his boots though. So I'll have him move three. And then when he gets there, he's not gonna have anything. Okay, he's gonna have a move five. So one, two, three, four, five. Attacks. Yes, he does. Okay, we are ready. So he's going to move five, then he has a attack three from range three. So hopefully someone will be in range from that. Okay, let's uh, open the door at initiative 27. So he had to move four. Opens the door, everything pauses. And we spawn in. Meaning we only have 
one attack left anyway. We only have one turn left until we're out. So we just bought ourselves one more move. Um, so good for us, I guess. Um, let's see if we can finish this up before we both die. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna do a quick rest as my I use my boots last turn, so I'm gonna do a quick rest. There's a card in here I want to use, but it requires a little extra moving. Um, okay, let's see if we can do this. So we need to kill the two bandits, the two archer bandits, and then the living bones, which is a total of 15 damage we need to do. Okay, this is going to be really, really spicy. Um, we're going to do this. And we're just going to hope that the enemy doesn't go before 54, which is extremely unlikely. Because they're probably going to kill our... Um, these guys over. Living Bones, 25, uh-oh, 29, dang, okay, so Archer goes last, so the order's gonna be Mind Thief, Living Bones, Brute, and then Archer. So Mind Thief gets to go first, Let's see if we can kill the Living Bones, it looks like probably not. Um, man, what was my other card? So I'm basically just going to do a move to one, two, getting in position to sacrifice myself. And we're going to do an attack to on um, the skeleton. No, on the archer. Yeah, because they do more damage. On archer number one, we're going to do a base of because we have a plus two. So it's two plus two. Base of four. Go on, give me a plus. Ooh, we kill an archer. Five damage, kill the archer. Very nice. Okay. And now that's actually fine that I switched these moves around because my last move I was going to do was a hit both of them move. But since they aren't even both there, it's fine. We're only going to hit one. 
Okay, so my Mind Thieves turn is done, and he is actually gonna be exhausted on his next turn, because I only have one card left, and he's gonna die before that anyway, but um, his sacrifice has paid off. Well, not yet, but it's looking good. Um, next up is Living Bones. They go before our Brute. Next up is Living Bones. They go before our Brute, so they're going to hit our Mind Thief for a base of... Oh, he has one attack, and he's got a minus one this turn, so he's going to hit him for a base of zero. Which is zero, so he hits him for nothing. Our Mind Thief is still in the game. Brute gets to go before the Archer does, and I'm going to do this move, which is um, move four plus two, and jump, so you get to move through or over or through obstacles and whatever, so you don't take into account what's on spaces, and then attack two, all the enemies you move through, so we're going to go one, two, three, well, one, I don't know, we're doing, we have a six move. So we're just going to basically end up here going through these two, right? Yeah. So we did attack two to both these guys. So attack two to the skeleton does one damage because of a shield. Attack two to the archer does one damage because we messed up. And then my next move is attack three, range three, which we are going to hit the archer with. Oh, 